Welcome to Open Text video series. This video will be presenting the steps needed to set up and use of Group Managed Service Accounts or GMC for secure access to network shares, SFTP directories, and map drives. Group Managed Service Accounts, GMSAs, are domain accounts to help secure services. GMSA can run on one server or in a server farm such as system behind a network load balancing or internet information server. We will be using GMSA to access network shares with reflection for secure IT server for Windows. This video will cover the steps required to configure access to network shares using a group managed service account. Procedure to perform to configure reflection for secure IT Windows Server. To use JMSA account to access network shares is available in reflection for secure IT Server for Windows 8.4, SP1, and higher. These are the requirements in setting up Group Managed Service Account. Group Managed Service Accounts were introduced in Windows 2012, so your servers and the Active Directory schema to have at least that version. The Active Directory PowerShell commands require a 64 bits architecture. Some of the commands require elevation and some require domain administrator privileges. For more information about hardware and software requirements, Please refer to Active Directory documentation. This video will not discuss how to create a managed service account. Reflection for Secure IT Windows Server supports login as Group Managed Service Account with public key authentication by configuring and setting up GMSA for Reflection for Secure IT Windows Server. The console can access domain resources using a managed password. Before configuring the use of Group Managed Service Account, first it required to create and configure the Managed Service Account in the desired domain. There are two procedures to perform to configure RSIT Windows Server. First, provide the Group Managed Service Account with a folder that contains the public key. For user accounts, the folder containing the public key is typically located in the user's profile directory in a .hs2 folder. Normally, this profile directory is created by first logging in using a username and password. Most SSH clients have a utility to generate and upload key material. Procedure 1. Configure a folder for the public key. For a managed service account, we cannot log in in using a password, so we have to configure the public key folder differently. Configure the public key, prepare a folder that contains the necessary server files for public key authentication. You can generate a key pair specific for this account, or you can temporarily point to an .hs2 folder for a normal user, for example, test user. Open the Reflection Secure IT Windows Server Console. In the Configuration tab, navigate to Sub Configuration, User Configuration, and select Add. A pop up window will appear. Select the domain and enter the domain name of the group managed service account, for example, domain.com. In the username field, enter the name of the JMSA followed by a dollar sign, for example, RSIT JMSA dollar. In the side tree view on the left side, select authentication, public key. In the user key directory, the default value is percentage D backslash dot SSH2. Change this value to the folder that you have prepared for. Example, C colon 
backslash users backslash test users backslash dot shh2 press ok read the warning that is given and select yes to proceed save the configuration now you can connect using the public key authentication using the key it generated or the test user key include the trailing dollar sign in the username when you sign in for example ssh space rsit gmsa dollar at rsit server dot domain dot com note after the first successful login the group managed service account will now have a local profile directory it can switch back to using the regular location for the public key while this is not a requirement you can also keep the non-default folder that you created make sure that access to this folder is properly restricted procedure two allow the managed password to be used in the credential class select add a pop-up window will appear in the add credential pop-up enter the name of the group managed service account for example domain.com slash rsit gmsa dollar leave the password empty in the pop-up check the box for cash password for client access select ok note the test button cannot be used for group managed service account the reflection for secure it windows server console does not have the required permission to retrieve the password to allow the managed password to be used you must also select the checkbox use cache password to give users access to domain resources when choosing a user for the share enable the user the client account radio button now you can configure domain access to sftp directories and map drives that exist in your domain same steps are needed to follow as outlined for normal accounts in customizing sftp directories and configured map drives for sftp directories see customized directory access for file transfers documentation for map drives see configure map drives for terminal session documentation when selecting account choose the gmsa created previously which is domain.com backslash rsit gmsa dollar thank you very much for watching